Today we're in Minneapolis and this is a very special episode. We're gonna to go to George Floyd Square, a place that everybody's heard about, but not everybody's been. And then we're also gonna to talk to random people on the street like we always do and see what's on their minds here in Minneapolis. Matt, look at this park bench flipped over in the wind. Mario, Watch yourself. you think this is a park bench? Yeah, it flipped over. No, 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 Mario, this is a Crowther blocking sled. You want me to demonstrate for you? Yeah, would you? Oh yeah, man, you just get down in your stance. Just like that. That didn't look, I, that, I made it look kind of easy, didn't I, Mario? Well, I bet you I can move it further. You want to give it a try? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I want you to fire out, and I want you to hit that fan as, as hard as you can. Am I, I going to it? Am I going to break it? You will not break it. Okay. I want you to drive it clear across got the field. It. Okay, got right. it. Now, got it. set, hunt. Ah. Are you serious right now? Oh, yeah. I, I saw it, you know, I saw it move a little bit. I think that was the wind. I think that was the wind. Wait, I got a call. Bit. It's weak as a kitten. Pretty amazing to think that in a singular moment in time, a singular event happened right here and the reverberations, the impact was felt all throughout the country. Uh, and it was, it was at this very place. It's almost kind of an eerie feeling being here, uh, knowing the horrific tragedy that took place. I think I, I think there's uh, number one. We gotta find a way to calm down a lot of the crime. A lot. Anytime I'm out of Minneapolis, I hear people talking about Minneapolis as if they don't want to come to Minneapolis. Yeah, it, it definitely has a reputation around the city and even even nationally. I get people calling me that live other places. They're like, "Hey, you okay?" They see what's oh, going yeah. on in Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I get that all the time. And uh, you know, as being somebody who lived in Minneapolis for the last, I would say, seven, eight years. That's not the type of thing I want to hear about the city that I live in, you know? Have things have things gotten worse in the seven, eight years, I mean, as far as crime is concerned? Because I don't live in Minneapolis. You only know what you read and what you hear and what you see on the news. Have things gotten worse over the years? Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel as, as though it has. Um, and, uh, you know, as, as, with me being married and having a kid now, you know what I'm saying, I'm even more worried about, you know what I'm saying, where my wife goes, where, where I go. You know, we, we, we think about stuff consciously before we actually go there, you know? The, the, the wave of where everybody's saying is uh, they can't even go downtown. They can't go downtown. They can't go uptown to, to go to parties or anything like that because there's so much crime going on. But to be honest with you, I think I think when the pandemic happened and they shut everybody, all of the places down, stores down, uh, nobody had anywhere to go, I felt like it, it, it started to get out of hand. Yeah. And I think it's, 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 they're having a hard time slowing it, slowing it down. The decisions about the pandemic has put a spark into the violence in the city. The defunding the police thing, I feel like that was kind of like where it started at. And I feel like it, it's kind it's kind of lawless right now. But I think that everybody needs to come, come together, sit down, and it needs to be a joint meeting with the people in the community and with the police officers. As a, ma a majority of people in Minneapolis, they don't want less cops. They don't want no cops. They want more. I mean, we don't have enough cops on the streets right now, right? It's, 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 it's insane because it's a narrative that people put that they, they want to, it to make that black people want to defund the police. And that's not what black people want. Black people want security in their neighborhoods. And, and, and that's just the honest truth. But it's from somewhere is a narrative put on the neighborhood that black people want to defund the police. And that's not what black people want. I don't think I don't think white people or right, Mexican exactly, or anybody yeah, wants to defund yeah, exactly. the if police. Have, if you have crime, you want to you want police to be there to, to do their job. What role is racism playing in the problems that are plaguing the black communities? <clears throat> what I look at is certain things like that have happened in the black community over 
many of years. We can either go back to slavery, we can go to Jim Crow, we can go uh, uh, through even the Rondo neighborhood in St. Paul where the, yeah. the interstate got put in there yeah. and destroyed their neighborhood. Yep. Things like that have, have, I think, gets downplayed when it comes to today when we talk about wealth gap and when we talk about education gap. Prince, what's your number one frustration with, with politics? Well, we talk about it all the time on our radio show, and I think everybody who knows me, they know that white liberals who um, dictate what, what black people do, they, that's the number one concern. That's the number one concern in our community. They're definitely, I feel like, in control of the culture, what we call the culture. And, and I guess the way that uh, it gets talked about is, well, the black community needs this, the black community wants this. Uh, do all black people like think the same way and want the same things? Black people aren't a monolith, you know? <laughs> so so we're, we're Republicans, we're Democrats, we're conservatives, and, 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 and we're liberals, we're everything. Everybody deserves a voice, you know, and, and, and we can't silence e either side, you know, can't do it.